Welcome, friends, to another episode of Tiffin Box TV, where we continue to inspire photographers like you and me. I'm speaking with Malusha Welch, who is a national award-winning photographer, lives in the beautiful city of Victoria, British Columbia, one of the one of my favorite cities to go and check out. Uh, it is incredible out there. She studied photography in London, Ontario, and has since built a career photographing portraits, weddings, and outdoor recreation. Now, her work can be found in private collections around the world and international publications, national publications. Um, she's been a volunteer for a number of photography organizations, including the Professional Photographers of Canada. Now, she served as a president in 2012 of uh, the BC chapter, I believe, and her work can be seen at melissawelsh.com. Now, we, we're not going to be talking about her work as such, because today I'm going to be talking to her about her new project, her new book project called Pixel Sense, the solution to selling digital files for photographers around the world. How many of you, don't lie, confess right now, how many of you struggle with this question all the time with your clients where you're asked about selling your, your digital files or giving your digital files away and you just go crazy? Well, Melissa is here to help us all out. Thanks for joining us today, Melissa. Yeah, thanks for having me. I'm thrilled. So I've given it away, really. The book is out. Uh, you, it's called Pixel Sense, and it's phenomenal. I couldn't put it down. It's, it's an easy, quick read, uh, and it goes through a number of options for portrait, commercial, and even fine art photographers. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about what motivated you to do this book or write this book in the first place. Sure. Well, um, I guess I guess it started probably back in 2012 when I was president of um, the BC region of the PPOC and I was traveling around the province. Um, I was participating on a lot of Facebook groups and, um, you know, even a few years further back than that, I used to belong to the DWF. And um, anyway, I just started to see a trend and a question that kept coming up like almost daily and it was how do I sell my files how do you sell your files what do you charge for your files do you give your files away <gasps> you give your files away right. you know and it, and it was just like this ongoing conversation that nobody seemed to have an answer to and um, what I realized was that you know for a lot of folks that were coming into the industry um, they were looking to the people that had been around for a long time saying tell us how to do this but the guys that had been in business for 20, 30, 40 years were saying, don't do it, don't do it. And, um, and so then the new guys didn't have any answers. The old guys didn't have any answers. Nobody had any answers. And so I was like, so I actually started looking for the answer and I couldn't find it. So I just put my brain to it. And I was like, there has to be a solution. This isn't going away, right? Like customers aren't going to stop asking for their files. It's not going to happen. So how do we build sustainable photography businesses with this new product? What do we do with it? So that that was what inspired uh, inspired the book and the solution. Without giving too much away, because yeah. it's almost like a mystery novel in a way. Because you're like, I, I, you know, you I want people to 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 buy the book and read yes. the book uh, to figure it out. I mean, because you're not suggesting everybody charge the exact same amount for digital files that would that wouldn't fly even in the u.s uh no. you're actually suggesting that people consider where their skill set is first making yeah. sure that the delivery is of a certain kind um you even offer uh, certain options for people who ask like certain clients would ask you like do you offer digital files and what what is your answer to that well you offer that in in the p in the in the ebook that you you're selling now yeah. um Without giving too much away, though, yeah. what can you tell us about your process of making those digital files available to clients, maybe even your clients? Whew. All right. Well, gosh, where do we start? Um, so you're looking for the process, you think? Uh, really maybe maybe a, the, the, the process, if, if it is something that you can share uh, with us, that would be great. Okay. So I guess... Um, well, I guess the, the first thing is choosing your business model, 
right? And and that's one of the examples I give in the book. So again, it's not it's not like I've said this is the one way that you do it. Mm-hmm. Um, what I've come up with is a mathematical formula. I mean, that's the big secret is that there is a mathematical formula right. that each and every photographer can apply within their own business model. You know, and there are variables within that mathematical formula which the photographer um, gets to address, right? And so what the book is, the book is basically, um, it explains the formula and then it helps walk each photographer through um, their chosen business model. You know, and I entertain, um, I, you know, I, I present three business models for portrait and wedding photographers. Um, I even entertain the idea of selling digital files 100%, That's only right. files, right. you know, mm-hmm. and it can be done. Um, I just explain how you're going to do it um, or how to do it if you're actually going to run a sustainable business, right? And that's kind of the key word throughout the entire book is a sustainable business where you're actually making money, you're putting money in your pocket, you're paying your mortgage, you're contributing to your household, you know? (laughs) Um, You're not just scraping by, you know? And, And there's a lot of folks out there that are in their business five, six, seven years that are still you know, maybe only making 20 grand a year, maybe only making 10, I don't know. Um, I mean, that's one of my other motivations in this is, um, is up until 10 or 15 years ago, being a professional photographer was a prestigious career. It was a dream career for many people. Like imagine that you can make a living doing what you love while paying off your mortgage, putting your kids through university, going to Paris every year. Like that's, how we used to roll, you know, and I think, um, you know, I think there's, um, you know, things have changed in the last five to seven years. So anyway, I mean, that's a little bit of a tangent there. Sorry about that. That's okay. Uh, You talk about valuing the digital file. Yes. Uh, What has changed in the last five or six years for off that digital file? How has that, in your opinion, changed for photographers? What have, let me rephrase that. How, the value of a digital file can be appreciated by two people. One is the photographer themselves, and the other is your client, right? Mm-hmm. How has that exchange changed over the last five or six years, given that everyone has access to the digital file? In the sense, everyone's got a camera in their hands or whatever, right? So we, we can t- talk to us a little bit about how that's all so I felt as as I was moving through the book and moving through this whole process and project, um, I realized that nobody had actually really addressed the value of this digital file. Right. I mean, as photographers, we were giving away these files like they were free, you know, like they were just like this thing that meant nothing, you know, like as a wedding photographer, it's like, oh, a disc of files for 300 bucks. And you were like, yeah, 300 bucks except that there was 1,000 files on that disc, you know? And it's like, and so my, my question, my challenge is like, did anybody do the math on that? You know, like you just gave away 1,000 photographs that can be reproduced over and over and over again. You know, they can be printed. Those clients can give that file away to everyone in their life. Right. What is the value? And so... These are some of the questions that, that I was asking. And, and I came up with a little paragraph that I have invited the industry to use um, where, um, where I explain the value of that photograph, you know, kind of in an eloquent sort of way. At least I tried to. Um, you guys can let me know if I nailed it or not. But, you did. Um, you did you know, nail something it. That, that you can read to your clients and talk about that and how powerful that is. You're not just buying an 8 by 10 print. You are buying a file that you can share with everyone in your life forever, over and over and over again. One of the things that I think uh, challenges photographers is having that conversation with clients Mm -hmm. during the booking process, during the process of actually having that entire session reserved or whatever, um, to be able to explain to them, look, uh, my session fee covers my time and talent, but yeah. you're going to be paying for the portraits separately. I'm using portraits as an example here. Sure. Uh, and, and if you'd like to have the digital files, they're mm-hmm. available for a certain amount, right? Yes. That dialogue gets all mumbled and jumbled 
exactly. uh, during the process. Yeah. And I think the, the book, the book that you've just produced for us, gives us the framework to be able to talk to our clients in a, a logical, streamlined fashion. So that's why I want to say thanks to you, first of all. No so. problem. Well, you know, not just the framework, but I really feel the confidence. Yes. I feel like um, when it gets right down to it, having that mathematical equation. So when you're talking about your, your digital files being available for purchase, you now feel confident about why you're charging for them because now you ha now you understand as a photographer the value of them. Number two, you didn't just make that number up. You didn't just say, oh, well, you know, Sally down the street is charging $25 for her as well. You know, my work isn't as good as Sally, so I'm only gonna charge 20. You know, you haven't just made the, because when you make numbers up like that, you don't feel good about them when you present them to your clients. But when it's based on math, and it's real simple math. You know, it's not like grade 12 calculus math. <laughs> it's like, when it's, but when it's based on simple math, that is like, I don't know, that's just like the base of confidence to be able to communicate the value of this. Because I mean, at the end of the day, you're asking for money for your work and um, people see right through it when you're not confident, you gotta be confident. The last thing we're gonna talk about is your application. Uh, mm -hmm. We haven't even hinted at it yet, but you have a, a an iPhone app that just launched this last week, um, mm -hmm. and it's also called Pixel Sense. It's called the Pixel Sense Calculator. I'm going to link to it uh, in the blog post below. But tell us a little bit about this application. Sure. How did you come up uh, about it, and why is it so important for photographers to have this in their phones? It's a big deal. Okay. What's so, the big deal? Exactly. So I, I started the uh, the Pixel Sense formula and this whole journey was looking at solving a problem for portrait and wedding photographers. Um, once I did that, I recognized another ongoing question in many of the portrait wedding world. Um, they're getting asked for commercial um, commercial use for their you know wedding photographers. Uh, you know, one of the questions would be. Uh, Oh my! When the wedding venue from last Saturday wants to use this photo on right. their website, what should I charge them? You know, yep. and uh, so there's a lot of this kind of stuff where you have people in this portrait wedding world now moving slowly into the commercial world and having absolutely no idea what to charge for their digital files. And um, now I go back. You know, I've been in this business for almost 20 years, which is crazy. Um, but when I got started, I read a whole bunch of books. There was like Sell and Resell Your Photos and um, another book. Uh, oh, gosh, what's his name? Can't remember it. Anyway. Is it John um, Harrington? No, it was um, it was a guide. Pickerel's. Pickerel's Guide to Selling Stock Photography, right? And that's because that's basically what it is. The image is already created, that's right? right? Yep. Um, so somebody's paid you for your time. It's like, well, now what's it worth when I sell it to somebody else? Um, so I was I was thinking like that is it's really complicated to get the answers that you want and I wondered can I take the same pixel sense formula and apply it to the editorial the corporate and the advertising world and so I ran some numbers and I was like I think this is gonna work and then I sent it out to a bunch of commercial photographers I was like am I crazy or is this working and the answer was it's brilliant <laughs> I'm just kidding no they might have said that but yeah anyway it works and so what I did was um, I compiled industry ranges and industry averages from the U.S., the U.K., and Canada. And I compiled all of that data and I created a calculator. So what that app is, is um, it's basically a little calculator. It's a stock photo calculator at the end of the day. That's what it is. It's a tool for you. So when you get that phone call, um, hopefully on your landline... <laughs> Um, or the email, you know, you can go to your phone and um, and if it's uh, you know an editorial, a full page ad in a in a uh, magazine or whatever it is, you can click on advertising, put in the data, and it's going to give you um, a range and an average. And so basically, at the end of the day, instead of having to go to Facebook and getting a whole bunch of random people's opinions on what you should be charging that wedding venue. Now you have a reliable source that is based on industry standards. And I found in my business, in all the years that I've been in business, is that when you negotiate with people, when you negotiate photo prices, when you can say, based on industry standard, the rate for this type of image use is this. 
And then you can say, but because you're such a good client, I'm going to give you a little bit of a discount, you know, and so take 10% off the price if you want to, you know, if they're a good client. So anyway, hopefully I could talk forever about this stuff. So <laughs> it, it's, certainly a, to <laughs> it's certainly a very exciting topic uh, uh, only because, uh, well, it, it's, it involves both photography and money. You know, I think, I think those are two things that are dear to professional photographers for, for a good reason. Yeah. Um, Thank you so much for, for talking to us about your new book and your new application uh, called Pixel Sense. Uh, if there is a message you'd like to give us uh, for mm -hmm. photographers, either f in the present or in the future, mm -hmm. what would it be in terms of pricing your digital files? I think the biggest thing is no one understands your numbers. No one understands your numbers from your cost of doing business. It's like the most boring part of all of it. But from understanding your numbers, that is where your confidence comes and that's where your business, that's how you build a, su a sustainable business that, um, that is going to reward you and your family. And I mean, at the end of the day, we're all wanting to live the dream, but we still got to make money. You know, we still, we've got kids to feed and all that kind of thing. And if you really want to do it, just do it right. Know your numbers. Great. Thank you again for joining us today. Awesome. Thanks so much for having me. Bye. Cheers. So as it always happens, uh, when I stop recording, I always have this brilliant question that comes up in my mind all the time when I, with, my, with my guests. And here's that question for you, Melissa. How awesome would it be that what you're proposing becomes the industry standard for photographers? So I have thought about this a lot. And um, I guess... I like on I believe that it that it should be there is no question about it and and I have shared this with hundreds of photographers over the last couple of years with no major challenges at all to my theory my business practices or the formula um, I feel like my biggest challenge to making this an industry standard is the fact honestly that I am a nobody <laughs> like I am just some photographer in Victoria BC who nobody has ever heard of that has come up with this idea and I honestly feel that if it had come <laughs> from a big name person it would be easier for the word to spread and um, and I guess my other thing is is that I don't actually know how to make an industry standard <laughs> like what is an industry standard I'm not sure at well, this well, point. it'd be less of you making an industry standard as as much as the photographers who have read the I book adopting it and making it an industry center for their yes. businesses and really having a sustainable business uh, yeah. and not struggling, right? And or not at least getting frustrated when someone says, I want digital files. Well, yes. Let me show you how it's done. Let Absolutely, me, you right? can have them. Yes. But you've got to buy that 60-inch print first. <laughs> That's right. Oh, whatever it is, whatever the, exactly. the model, business model you're, you're proposing is. Yes. Um, I did have a gentleman in Scotland after reading the book, uh, sent me a testimonial and he actually said that in his testimonial that he believed that this should be an industry standard worldwide. So there you go. Excellent. There you go. So help me out. <laughs> <laughs> All of you, we can do it. <laughs> this could be really the disruptive app or idea for the photo industry that we've been all waiting for in a way, right? Yeah. I, mean, I mean, am I just being very excited and sort of exaggerative about it or is it, you know, is, do you see it as well do you see that absolutely. okay well this could be like amazing i mean that's why i the subtitle of the book is the solution for photographers around the world you know this isn't this isn't a solution for photographers in my city or your city it's a solution it is it's just math guys it's math and a few business practices it applies to all of us everywhere everywhere awesome Melissa, thank you so much again. I'm going to be putting into practice what you've just taught me through the book. And uh, I can't, I'm so excited, really. Awesome. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you. Bye. Cheers.